<laughs> so, we're today uh, and actually this week we're going to look at um, uh, first of all uh, looking at defending against a single leg entry. So as a warm up, we're going to just go over a simple uh, single leg entry. Then we're going to defend that by going for a Kimura trap, uh, Sumagashi throw uh, into a Kimura uh, trap position on the bottom, and that's where we're going to work from today. Okay. So just nice basic to start with, so we understand how to get into the single leg. We're going to go for a collar grip. If he gets the collar grip as well, we can still make the entry. We can just grab the elbow. We can pull the elbow out to the side and come in through that space. It's better if we can control that before he gets the grip. So as he's reaching in for the grip, if we can control that, then it's going to be a lot easier entry for me. We're going to pull the arm out to the side. We do want the leg in front that we want. So if he hasn't got that leg in front and the leg's behind, then we're going to need to maneuver our partner around until we get the correct leg in front. Pull the arm out to the side. The outside leg is going to step and we're going to drop down to the knee, creating the angle on our partner and not just going straight forwards. Create the angle, head in, push up, and we're going to get to this single leg position. So up to you if you want to add in a couple of super basic single legs, but we're not going to cover that now. All I want you to do is just be able to get into that position. So we're going to grab the collar. He reaches in for the collar. We're going to try to control it. The correct leg is in front. So we're going to pull the arm out to the side, drop out of the angle, step down to the knee, head pushes in and lock in on that single leg. So we're ready to take down and then he's ready to start looking for his Kimura trap position. All right, so let's start with that as a warm up, uh, and then we'll go for the counter. One, two, three, let's do it. So, Richard has got his entry into the single leg here. So obviously I can't be thinking about this for too long, uh, but we're gonna try to counter this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna control his posture. So we're gonna push the head down, and we're gonna take our belly over the top of the head. So he can't move his head back up or move it anywhere. I'm going to reach over and I'm going to attack this far arm for a Kimura. So my arm's going to come through, I'm going to lock in, I'm going to get my figure four. See my leg that he's got hold of? What we're going to aim to do is put this like butterfly hook in behind his knee. And we're going to take a jump forwards. And as we take a jump forwards, we're literally just going to sit down and we're going to use that butterfly hook to kick him off to the back. So like a sort of sumigashi throw. Over the top, lock in. We're gonna take a little hop forward, sit down, use that butterfly hook to kick over. His head should still be on my belly. And then just to make sure that I keep the control, I'm gonna straighten my arms down in towards his hip. And this is what we're gonna work the rest of, uh, what we're gonna work on today from. Punching into the hip, nice and controlled. And then we'll look at some other techniques from there. So my partner comes in on his single leg. As he goes to a single leg, stuff the head down, get my belly over the top. Over the top of the arm, lock in for the Kimura, little hop forwards, and then we're going to sit, kick off with the butterfly hook, punch his hand down to his hip, so we keep nice control over this position. And then that's what we work from this up. So one more time. Comes in, gets his single leg, and stuff, belly over the top, lock in your Kimura, little hop forwards, my partner off, punch down into the hip, and we'll work from this Kimura trap position in just a second. Okay? So, partner enters the single leg. Let's look at locking up that Kimura, Sumigashi throw into a Kimura trap. One, two, three. All right, guys. So, Rich goes for that single leg. I lock up my Kimura, hop forwards, Sumigashi. So, uh, actually, Rich just turned around a little bit so they can see. There we go. Right, so we've locked into position. So really, my partner has like two options. Either stays where he is, or he tries to turn in towards me. He probably won't try to turn away from me, because if he tries to turn away from me, he puts the shoulder lock on. So he starts turning in towards me. So we're going to look at three options. First option is as he starts turning in towards me, I'm going to take my bottom knee, I'm going to slide it in underneath the ribs. Because his hips are still on the ground, very unlikely we're going to be able to get the full hook through. But we're going to bring the top hook over and hook on this far leg. So first option, we're going over the hip, locking on, in on the leg. Circle into the seat belt. We're going to keep hold of the arm though, so we have control over that. 
Then I'm going to pull on this leg, and as I pull on this leg, this bottom knee, I'm going to point it up to the ceiling and drag my partner across to the opposite side. Now really, whatever you like to do from the back here is fine. If we just look for a bit of control, if we're looking for the four points in the tournament, because we've got hold of the arm here, I can start pulling this arm in, grabbing gi, coming up to my elbow, and I can go for this single weave choke, or if I've still got control of this, we can either go for this little short choke, hand onto the shoulder, pull my elbow out, and finish for the short choke. Again, the submissions are just extra options. If you want to add those in, great. But what we're ultimately looking at is the back take off of this. So again, he comes in on that single leg. We stuff the head, lock in the Kimura, drop down, keep my partner through, lock into the hip. He starts to turn in towards me. As long as I keep this locked in the position, he shouldn't be able to turn fully. Bring my knee underneath my partner's ribs. Leg comes over the top, and then at this point, we're gonna circle over for the seatbelt. Keep hold of the arm, pulling on this hook, putting my knee to the ceiling, cross my legs, hip in, look for the four points if I want, or I can start looking for body control. If we wanna look for some submissions, open up the gi, feed the thumb in, come up to your elbow. So here, up to your elbow already, it's gonna be super tight. Lock in behind the head, finish or even if we just keep jumping the elbow back we still should be able to get the submission as long as we've got control of that second arm all right so let's look at the single leg the sumagashi sweep into the kimura trap and taking the back one two three let's do it all right so which gets his single leg his stuff you drop down it's more kimura trap i've ended up the wrong way again rich to turn yourself around Yes, perfect. Right, same thing again. So I punch in, he starts turning towards. I slide the knee in underneath. So we go for the, the first option. Maybe he brings his knee, yeah, exactly. He tries to block and stop me from getting that control. So second option, I'm gonna go over the top of his shoulder. So instead of going over the hip like we did before, we're gonna go over the top of the shoulder. I'm gonna go back into my seat belt, but then I'm gonna take this Kimura grip that's on my wrist, reach up, I'm gonna grab hold of my own shin. Then I'm gonna kick my partner across, so we get into this reverse triangle position. Now, for the reverse triangle, we don't want to pull the leg through as deep as possible. If we pull the leg through as deep as possible, we actually end up with the bend of the knee right where the artery is. What we actually want to do for the reverse triangle is take the leg out shallower so that we get the calf sitting nicely on the side of the neck. Once we've got that locked in nice and tight, we lock up our triangle and we hide the foot behind the back. Now we should find that when we start to squeeze, we've got that triangle nice and tight. I'll just loosen that up just slightly. Now we still have some other options on this arm. So I'm going to go elbow and wrist, keep his arm bent, I'm going to pull back, I'm going to lift my hips for a shoulder lock. We can go over the top of the knuckles, lock in figure four, and we've got the wrist lock. Or we can pull the arm just to the outside, and we've got a nice arm bar option for ourselves as well. So, now my partner turns in, I bring the knee underneath. Maybe he defends the hook, I can't get that over, so I'm going to go over the top of the shoulder instead. Arm loop my seatbelt, grab hold of my shin, pull my partner across to the opposite side. Now remember, we don't want to pull the leg through deep. We actually want to pull the leg through shallow. Pull in nice and tight, lock up the triangle, hide the foot, and when we squeeze, that should be tight. Wrist and elbow, we pull in, hip up, over the knuckles, lock in figure four, wrist lock, or we can pull the arm to the outside for the arm bar. So lots of nice options from that position. So while we're here, let's look at the last option. Lock in, as it turns in, we do the same thing. I pull my knee in under. Can't get over the hip, maybe the shoulder's just not looking good, so I'm gonna use my elbow to push and bring my leg up over the top of the head instead. Kicking my partner away, 
sitting myself up. Now, if I just go straight for the armbar here, likelihood is, is that someone as advanced as Rich is he's just going to hitchhike out. So I'm going to keep this locked in tight so he can't hitchhike out. Bring my leg across. Now, once I've got my leg across, I'm going to scoop, come down to the leg, keep this all nice and tight, and then lift and finish for the armbar. So one more time, he turns in, slide the knee in, this time over the top of the head, start to kick away. As we kick away, set ourselves up. You see how my foot is still in the same position it was when I brought it underneath. Keep the Kamoran lock so he can't do his hitchhike out. Just free my leg, bring it over the top, lock it on the arm. Let's say, for example, that he's got a grip there, Rich. So a lot of white belts, a lot of beginners, will just pull and attack at the elbow. This is a really nice little detail. Don't pull at the elbow because there's no pressure on the wrist. Make sure that you go as close to the wrist as possible. Go ahead, you can keep it. Lock it in and put some pressure where the actual grip is. We're going to fall down to the side, lock onto the leg, and take the hands away from the core where he's powerful, unlock, and throw into the armbar. So, let's have a look at those two options. Number one, come over the top of the shoulder, we're gonna look at reverse triangle uh, and all the lovely options that come with that. And also look at the arm bar as well. Okay, last one, one, two, three, let's go.